what's up everybody today we're going to be talking about how to create a discord server from scratch including creating roles categories text and voice channels and editing permissions we're also going to talk a little bit about some very simple formatting stuff that you can do in discord to help organize your posts and make things look more professional Tomorrow we have a Patreon tip coming out about how to use your Discord server to grow your content and community. It seemed like a really good time to make this video, so I hope that you guys enjoy. First, we're gonna start at discord.com. If you do not have Discord downloaded yet, you haven't joined any servers, you haven't made a server, you're gonna wanna download the app for Windows or use Discord in browser. I suggest downloading the app for Windows. You click that button, uh, let it do its thing, and you're gonna end up with something that looks like this. Except if you've never used this before, you won't have any servers that you've joined or any, any folders. Um, it'll just be empty with a plus, a plus button. I'm gonna click add a server, create server. Um, that's fine, you can upload a picture if you want, change it to whatever server name you want. Click create, <clears throat> boom. It's gonna ask you to invite some friends. Uh, again, if you haven't really used Discord before, you probably don't have any friends. Um, so you, that might not even pop, pop up for you. So this is what it's, it's gonna look like when you first create a server. One of the first things that I think is really important is to go into your server settings and check out your roles. So the at everyone role is the basic role that everybody who joins will, will get. Um, I think it's very important to make sure that you look through all of these, all of these settings to make sure that, um, you know, your, your average user doesn't have access to do things that you wouldn't want them to be able to do. For example, kick members, ban members, delete messages in the server, um, you know, mess around with the emojis in the, in the, uh, in the server, stuff like that. Um, the general default settings are pretty good, but I definitely would say look through them, make sure that it's set up the way you want. Um, if we go over to our Discord server very quickly and I take a look at our roles, we have lots of different roles here, um, you know, roles for ourselves uh, that are an administrative role. We have a mod role. Mods have more access to things that your average user doesn't. We also have a patron uh, and, you know, sub roles. So they have access to certain channels that other, um, other roles don't have access to. So it's important to set up the different roles that you want uh, before you start inviting people so that you can make sure people get into the roles you want and have access to the things that you want them to have access to. Now, categories themselves can have uh, default permissions for different roles. So you can add a role and, uh, and change it to whatever you want. So all of the categories in that specific, uh, or all of the channels, sorry, within that specific category will have those, those default permissions based on the role. Um, you can also manually edit channels within categories to have certain, certain uh, permissions. So if I hop back into our server here and I go into announcements, if I click edit channel and go to permissions, um, most people, except for us, do not have access to do anything other than read messages, read message history, and add reactions. And that's because announcements for us is somewhere where we, you know, announce what's going on with uh, ourselves, with our content, you know, with our uh, our lives, anything. Um, so this channel is specifically for us to communicate with our community about what's going on. Um, so to keep it from being, you know, kind of jumbled amongst other, other uh, people talking and other, other discussion. Um, it's something where only we are allowed to post. Um, so there are different, different channels that have different permissions. I think that's really important for you guys to look into setting up as well. You can very easily create voice and text channels by clicking the plus sign under whatever category you want and clicking uh, text or voice, put in the channel name, hit OK, and um, you're really, there really is no right or wrong way to, to create a Discord server. Um, whatever works for you might not be something that works for somebody else. For us, we have, we try to have a lot of different information up front, you know, stream information, what's going on, where you can find our content, um, how to do different things, including, you know, getting your sub role within Discord. Um, then we have stuff for our content. So, uh, you know, YouTube and podcast stuff and all of our sub and patron 
uh, channels stuff which is just random things that people can can talk about and then we have uh, an lfg actually for xbox ps4 pc and switch which uh, is really 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 nice for people in the server and then we have like certain games that we've been really involved in and things that people want to talk about and then we have voice channels so we have open voice channels that uh, everybody can join and then we have stream voice channels that have specific permissions so that um, people can't join unless we basically pull them in so it's very important to understand understand roles and permissions um, the rest of it is fairly simple you'll figure it out you know right click create a category um, click the plus symbol on the category to, to put in a text or voice channel there are a few really cool formatting things that I didn't know at first that I would like to show you uh, so if you type asterisk and then something and then asterisk that will um, italicize it if you put two on either side that will bold if you type an arrow and a space you'll get kind of this this line which looks uh, it ends up looking like this which is really cool so you can kind of almost uh, like indent it a little bit um, to show that these points are together um, we do that we do that here it's good for lists uh, those are the three main ones that I use a lot uh, to just kind of organize posts, um, bolding, italicizing, and this kind of like indented, indented line. I don't know what to call it. I'm sorry. Um, I hope that this video has helped you out. I know it's uh, it's fairly short. There's definitely so much more that we could uh, so much more that we could go into detail with. But the basics are there, creating a role, creating permissions, uh, creating categories, creating text and voice channels, and uh, how to edit them. So best of luck putting your Discord channel together. Um, it really is a really important tool for helping to grow your content and your community. Uh, you know, if you stream or create YouTube podcasts, whatever it is, it's a great way to get people together, get your community talking to each other and let everybody know what's going on so that they can uh, be there to support you whenever they can. So I hope you guys are staying safe. We will see you again uh, next week. Thank you so much for watching.